Hi, this is Mr. Estrada. In this video, we are going to go over number 31 from the August 2012 geometry regions. A cylinder has a height of 7 centimeters and a base with a diameter of 10 centimeters. Determine the volume in cubic centimeters of the cylinder in terms of pi. So what I like to do to get myself organized for these types of questions is make a KUF chart which stands for known, unknown, and formula. So, my unknown for this problem is the volume, because that's what I'm looking for. And the formula that's going to get me the volume is here. By the way, this formula is found in the back of the Regents booklet, so this is not a formula you have to memorize. And I'll break down uh, the meaning of this formula in a couple of minutes. So once I identify what my unknown is and what my formula is, I'm going to go on ahead and write down what I do know. So I know that the height is 7 centimeters. Now, I know that the diameter is 10 centimeters. So now, at this point, one may wonder, well, what do I need the diameter for? If the formula says V equals V times H. Well, you have to think about what this means. That V stands for area of the base. So let's think about a cylinder. This is a cylinder, and we're told that the diameter is 10 centimeters. Now, does that mean that the base is automatically 10 centimeters? No. you got to think about something. That capital B stands for area of the base. So you have to find the area of the base. Okay? Not the diameter of the base. The area of the base. Well, how do you find the area of the base? What kind of shape is the base? The base is a circle and the way you find the area of a circle is pi r squared that's what I'm gonna plug in for capital B here because capital B stands for area of the base so my formula I can also write it this way, V equals pi r squared times h. Okay, well, are we ready to substitute into the formula? We got pi, we don't have r, or do we? Think about something, they're giving you the diameter for a reason, because there's a relation, there's a relationship between r which is the radius and the diameter this is a relationship the radius is the diameter divided by two or half the diameter so the radius is six, it is five my apologies so it's going to be pi five squared times the height which is seven pardon me Right? They told us that the height was 7 centimeters. And now we're ready to solve. So you got pi times 5 squared, that's 25. That's times 7. So what's 25 times 7? I don't have a calculator on me, but I know 20 times 7 is 140. 140 plus 7 times 5 is 35. That's going to be 175 pi. So the volume is equal to 175 pi. I'm not going to multiply by pi. I'm going to leave it like this because it says to leave the volume of the cylinder in terms of pi. So my answer is 175 pi. Okay?
Thank you for your time. I hope that was helpful. Take care.